Hello everyone, and thank you for returning to our channel. In this article, we will delve deeply into the often hidden and unspoken aspects of narcissistic abuse. If you've ever wondered about the subtle yet impactful strategies narcissists use, you've come to the right place. From gatekeeping cleanliness in intrusive ways to exploiting their children's movies, narcissists employ a wide range of tactics to control and demean their victims. In this article, we will discuss five severely harmful behaviors that are rarely talked about. These behaviors illuminate how narcissistic parents withhold critical information from their children, use them for financial gain, and manipulate their surroundings to maintain power. These covert yet damaging actions include pressuring you to work tirelessly, using toxic spirituality to gaslight you, and even turning a car ride into a torture chamber. Understanding these details is crucial for recognizing the abnormalities in such relationships and their impact on your mental and emotional well-being. If you want to learn about these harsh realities and arm yourself with knowledge, we strongly encourage you to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you support the spread of information about narcissistic abuse and contribute to our mission of empowering survivors. Let's dive in and call out these abusive behaviors for what they truly are. The following are five horrible things that narcissists are known to do. 1. Some narcissists fail to teach fundamental hygiene techniques. When it comes to teaching their children good hygiene, narcissistic parents frequently fail to do so. Their children are not shown love, nor are they guided in matters of personal care as they develop. When their children are in their teenage years, when their sense of self-identity is at its most vulnerable, narcissistic parents fail to provide support or teach fundamental concepts of self-acceptance and hygiene. They may even make fun of their children by referring to them as filthy or smelly, using the natural changes that occur in their bodies as a weapon against them. In the absence of supervision, adolescents are left to sort things out on their own, frequently experiencing feelings of disorientation and a lack of support. The children of narcissistic parents frequently experience feelings of abandonment and a lack of readiness for the outside world, despite the fact that their friends or their parents may give assistance. The use of the internet by narcissistic parents to exploit their children. Parents that are narcissistic take advantage of their children by publishing footage of them online without obtaining their permission, solely for the sake of monetary gain. They transform their children's lives into a continual show, robbing them of their childhood, their happiness, and their privacy. Every action that the youngsters take is documented, but their actual emotions are not taken into consideration. It is possible for a narcissistic parent to urge additional tears from their child when the youngster is crying in order to create a dramatic impact for the camera and to attract more viewers. Children are deprived of their innocence as a result of this exploitation, which leaves them feeling disoriented and unable to trust other people. This is a striking illustration of the damage that may be created by parents who are self-centered. 3. Putting you under constant pressure to work. In order to keep one's health in check, one must strike a balance between physical activity and rest. However, Narcissists require constant attention to their bloated egos. During the time that the children are socializing, watching television, or playing video games, you are expected to cook, clean, and work in addition to taking care of them. All of the responsibilities of the household, both inside and outdoors, fall within your purview. You are seen to be overly emotional if you put in a request for assistance or a break. A comparison is made between you and other people, and they say things like, take a look at that person's spouse. They exercise more, but they still look fat. What do you do when you are at home? You are a slacker. They manipulate the story in order to make you appear to be unappreciative. They take advantage of you by utilizing you as free labor, which results in you missing out on opportunities for your career and personal life, leaving you feeling disappointed and fatigued. 4. Utilizing religion as a strategy to control you. Let's say that one of the parents is a narcissist, while the other is a spiritual person. When you express dissatisfaction with the actions of the narcissistic parent, the spiritual parent does not validate your sentiments. 
In its place, they advise you to forgive, emphasizing the concept of karma and stating that your fate is determined by how well you treat other people. They take use of the power that comes with supporting the narcissist by manipulating you into supporting them through the use of instability and conflict. Under the pretext of spirituality, they talk about angels, wear light jewelry, and dress in white. This is abuse that is being concealed behind a mask of spirituality. They twist facts and truths in order to fulfill their personal purposes, causing harm while giving the impression that they are being charitable. They are a spiritual leader or a parent. 5. Using the automobile as a means of distress. Narcissists are able to put you in a car, which is a tactic that is rarely brought up in conversation. Because they are aware that you are unable to flee, they will scream and yell at you if you make a mistake and change the song or if you show a preference for a different type of music. The car morphs into a location where one can experience mental anguish. If you make an effort to defend yourself, they may operate their vehicle recklessly, taking joy in the fact that you are afraid. In the end, you find yourself pleading with them to calm down in order to prevent the situation from getting any worse. The use of this style of control will cause your thinking to become suffocated. Although narcissists are not the only drivers who purposefully start disputes, they are the ones who do, which makes this behavior particularly nasty. We appreciate your participation in today's in-depth discussion of the covert strategies employed by narcissistic abusers. We have discovered five incredibly abusive practices that are frequently overlooked. Gatekeeping cleanliness, exploiting children, pushing endless work, utilizing poisonous spirituality for gaslighting, and turning car rides into torture chambers. All of these behaviors contribute to the abuse of children. The knowledge of the genuine impact of narcissistic relationships and the reclaiming of your authority are both significantly aided by these comprehensions. In the event that you have encountered any of these habits, it is important to understand that you are not alone and that knowledge is the initial step toward rehabilitation. The beginning of your road toward recovery and self-empowerment is just around the corner, and we are here to provide you with assistance whenever you need it. I would appreciate it if you could share your experiences in the comments section below. Your tale may provide others who are going through similar difficulties some guidance and hope. Please remember to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel if you found it to be helpful. Not only does your support contribute to the dissemination of information regarding narcissistic abuse, but it also serves as a platform for survivors to locate the services and encouragement they require. Keep in mind that you should take care of yourself, establish clear boundaries, and allow the healing process to start and continue until the next time we meet. By working together, we have the power to triumph over the gloom of narcissistic abuse and make progress toward a more positive and healthy future.